In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to customize budget categories in the money management template. First, we go to the budget worksheet. We're going to delete credit card number three. First, right click on the row number. We select delete. Then we have to make the same change in the report worksheet and the categories worksheet. So we go to the report worksheet. We right click on the row number, select delete. Go to the categories worksheet. We see credit card number three here. We right click on that row and select delete. And that's all there is to it. Next, we're going to rename a category. Again, we'll start in the budget worksheet. Take a look at the savings goals. Um, maybe you don't pay quarterly estimated taxes, so and you but you do want to save for a car. So let's change that to car. Just click on the taxes cell and type car. Notice that highlights red. That means that car is not currently included in the categories worksheet. So we need to go make that same change in the categories worksheet. Um, we'll scroll down to see it's already highlighted that we need to make that change. So we'll type car here, and you see it's still highlighted. That means that car is not in the report worksheet. So we go there. We find that we need to make the change in the report worksheet as well. And now we are done with that. The last thing we'll do is add a budget category. This is a little more tricky. I can't think of anything else to add right now, so I'm just going to add that credit card back in. The important thing to remember is that when you add a category, you need to copy an entire row. So first I select the row, and I right click on the row, select copy. And then I'm going to insert it right below, so I select this row. I right click on it and I select insert copied cells and then I need to rename it so I click on credit card number two change it to a three and voila you should always make sure that when you insert a row you do so somewhere in between this top item and the bottom item and I will show you why let's do let's copy this uh, credit card number two again and I'll insert it below that last item if I do that and then I take a look at this formula, you'll see that it did not stretch to include that new row. So what you should do, I'll delete that. So let's undo that. Go ahead and delete that row again. And now let's make the corresponding changes to the report and categories worksheet. So we'll go to the categories worksheet this time. Under obligations, again, we need to copy this row. We'll insert it right below and then change it to category number three. And then in the report worksheet, we will copy this row, insert it below it, and change it to number three. And we're done. 